So what we have today is a uh, DB4 that uh, we received and it was sent to us and it had no power, no video and upon closer examination we see that the uh, uh, MOSFET right here at the uh, charging circuit has actually blown. This is completely, uh, that's what we call a catastrophic failure. So what we're going to do is pull this off. We'll have to go to the schematic and see if we can't find uh, what part that actually is. But um, we'll pull it out and see if we can't get this thing to power back on and see where we can go from there. Okay, so we pulled our part off. And uh, if you can't notice, it appears that... Um, the traces have lifted up a little bit so what we're gonna have to do is uh, rebuild those traces right there and clean this board up and see if we can't get this thing uh, up and running so that's what we're gonna do next so now that we have our uh, contacts polished up there we can see better the damage that was caused by that uh, MOSFET exploding so what we're going to do is try to use the um, pin here to rebuild the uh, traces and then go from there and see what can uh, be done after it dries see if we can't reattach one so that's what we're going to do now so now we've uh, rebuilt the traces here so what we're going to do is uh, move from that to uh, applying the SMD so as we can see here uh, we finally replaced our uh, FET back after we rebuilt the traces here um, so what we're going to do is uh, plug the DC power in and then uh, put a power switch to it that we have here in shop hook it up to the power supply and see what happens and go from there so now we've uh, got our motherboard hooked up and um, got to the external video what we're going to do is turn it on so we see we get lights and we're just going to see if it's going to sync to the external which it does so we get external video and we're going to say this is finished. Uh, went from no power to uh, power sure enough. Saying that it needs to go in and check for the operating system and boot from the hard drive. So we're going to say this is a complete system. Uh, went from no power to power. Up and running. So, surprisingly enough, uh, our only issue was this uh, FET right here. So, once we changed this burned out FET, uh, rebuilt the traces, and um, did a little solder work, a little pin work, uh, we got everything up and running. So, uh, like we said before, when we got video, got power, got everything go to external, we're going to say that that's a complete and uh, repaired system. So, uh, there's two uh, rebuilding the traces right there. Uh, not the prettiest job, but it gets it all done. Now, unlike the other videos that I've done before, uh, this time I've decided to do a little insight. So, um, because I know I'll get questions on it. This is what I use to uh, rebuild the traces on the board. Um, this is a precision sander. Uh, it's sanded the corrosion off after we uh, washed the motherboard and uh, rubbing alcohol. Of course, we use 99% rubbing alcohol to do that. And then uh, precision sanded it to buff it clean, uh, get the corrosion off. And then we used uh, this circuit rider here. To uh, rebuild the traces. Now, of course, if you're going to rebuild the traces, you need to do it while it's cold. 
um, and of course we used the hot air gun to uh, pull it off with uh, a pair of tweezers now tweezers that I use on a regular basis are not these uh, I use the flats uh, the pointy ones just don't get the job done uh, the flat ones do so on a regular basis I use the flat uh, tweezers to pull stuff off so you know that's how that goes uh, as it with everything else I got my trusty syringe full of uh, flux and the flux that I was using this time happened to be Kester so Kester liquid flux through uh, a tip uh, we use that for precision and then um, the flat flat nose uh, tweezers there to pull everything off then use the sander to buff it out uh, clean up the flux it says no clean but don't believe it and then uh, use the circuit rider to rebuild the traces and put everything back together with the hot air gun so uh, that'll have it that'll be that uh, for stuff that I use to get the job done on this one.